briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1977, during a system-wide power failure in New York City caused by Consolidated Edison's gross negligence, Tenant Julius Strauss suffered injuries in a common area of his apartment building due to lack of lighting. Strauss subsequently filed a lawsuit against both his landlord, Bell Realty Company, and the utility company for negligence. The court was tasked with determining whether Consolidated Edison owed a duty of care to the tenant and whether public policy should limit liability in such a situation. The court ultimately concluded that the contractual relationship between the landlord and the utility company should limit liability, taking into consideration public policy implications. Despite the plaintiff's allegations of negligence, the New York Court of Appeals decided to affirm the appellate division's order and dismiss the complaint against Consolidated Edison. As a result, Strauss was unable to recover damages from the utility company for his injuries. This case showcases the influence of public policy on legal decisions, particularly when determining a party's responsibility for ensuring the safety of others and the extent to which liability may be limited. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law, elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.